Welcome back to the channel. And first and foremost, shout out to LoomCube for sending out these very, very awesome XL tube lights that you see right behind me. They add a lot of visual character to my background and actually lights up this side of my face rather nicely. So for someone like me, having a very aesthetic and, you know, high quality visual uh, representation of myself is very, very important. But if you don't have a dedicated space like I do, that can be rather difficult. Case in point, my friend Yi and I have a weekly podcast on my other channel, um, Auto Enthused. And the problem with that is Yi is always traveling, so he can't really have a consistent look and even sound to his video, which gave me the idea for this particular episode. So what I did is I made a list of products that I think you can take with you if you are a traveling creator that will help you elevate your video and audio in a more consistent basis. So portability is very important here because frankly, you can't really take big lights and diffusers with you when you're traveling. I'll be sharing the products first and then we'll put them all together and change the setting or the scene to see how far we can elevate the look and sound beyond your laptop's built-in webcam and microphone. Most laptops nowadays have built-in cameras, but even the camera on the latest MacBook Pros falls short in the quality department. So if I want to maximize video capabilities and remain ultra portable, I would recommend the Opal C1 webcam. It has a Sony sensor built in and lets you adjust various settings within the app to suit your current lighting situation. But here's something to remember. No matter how good the camera is, it will always still be at the mercy of any available light you have. So instead of going for a single panel light that usually sits on top of the laptop, I decided to get two LED wands for a little bit more control and versatility. The slightly bigger size gives a wider spread and they can simply stand on the desk on their own. This particular one has a 5000 milliamp battery capable of running at 100% brightness for more than an hour. Next, we have the Rode USB Mini for the microphone. I like Rode products in general and the fact that this small USB condenser microphone with a built-in aux port for monitoring your audio costs $100 makes it a winner for me. You can even attach this to a mini tripod if you want to elevate it closer to your face. So one of the problems with using a webcam on a laptop is that it ends up giving a lower point of view, meaning the people you are talking to will be looking up your nose, which isn't really flattering. So I went with a laptop riser by Moft to elevate the point of view off the camera. This product attaches underneath your laptop and can turn into a laptop riser by simply unfolding it. Very clever, very portable, and very functional. Okay, so right now I'm in the garage studio and despite the fact that I have a really bright light here, the webcam that's built into my laptop really isn't that great, to be honest. And the microphone's decent and the new MacBook Pros actually have pretty decent microphone quality nowadays. But let's see how much we can improve this using the Opal webcam, the microphone, and the lights. Okay, so now I've elevated the laptop using the Moft uh, laptop stand. I placed the microphone right in front of me, which improves the sound. And I'm actually just using one light right in front of me. Without the light, this is what it looks like, and it's a little too much. But placing the light right in front of me spreads the light a little bit more across my face, which makes it a lot more pleasing. Now you could stop here, but if you use the other light, you can actually place this on a tripod and move it and you can light up this side of your face. And here's an example of what that might look like. So I actually have the light on a very small tripod right off camera. So let's try a different scenario and see what we can do. Okay, so here's another scenario with bright windows right behind me. Say you just don't have a desk that actually faces the window. Uh, it can look like this. So let's see how much we can improve this using the tools that we used earlier. And this is what it could look like using the same tools that we used earlier. Now I'm using two of the lights just to counteract the bright background that I have. And frankly, you can even just use one light and I think it still looks good. You could probably improve the look if you close the windows right behind you. With the windows closed, it's obviously a lot darker. Now if I had a shelf right in front of me, maybe on the wall, I could possibly position one of the lights horizontally like this for a more even spread, something like that. So if I have some sort of light source 
on one side, it's not going to be as bad, which you know, I guess you could say that it is doable. But again, the goal here is to try to improve this and try to make it as consistent as possible. And now this is what it looks like when I put all the products together. One of the tube lights right here, right in front of me, and the other one right behind me to add this highlight on the side of my face. Obviously, you can change things around so you can decrease the light output depending on the look that you're trying to achieve or the actual light conditions in your area. And since they have threads underneath, you can put them on a tripod if you want, which gives you a lot more versatility. And they're very, very small, so you don't even need a big surface area to place them on top of anything. And they'll just sit right there excuse the mess here because i'm doing a little bit of work but now we're inside my home office and we're using the built-in webcam which looks even worse in this condition despite the fact that i actually have a window right next to me and if i open it i mean like you basically just can't see anything anymore and now this is what it looks like when I'm using the Opal C1 camera, the microphone, two lights, and the laptop stand. This time, since I have a light source to my left, I actually just opened up the window just a tad bit, and it highlights this side of my face. And both tube lights I have right here to my right. The one in front is a little bit more elevated. I used some books to just prop it up just a bit. And again, you're able to achieve a higher and you know even more dramatic look using this sort of setup. So I wanna talk you through some of the reasons why I chose this type of setup. For the camera, I think quality-wise, the Opal C1 is the best choice. The fact that you can adjust various settings depending on the environment's light is crucial to getting the best look you can get. Another option would be the Insta360 Link camera, which arguably is easier to use, but doesn't look as good and as customizable as the Opal C1. Having two light sources offers more versatility than a single panel. I can put one light in front of me and one behind me for a different effect. I can move them farther or closer, and I can even mount them if I wanted to. I didn't choose a particular pair of earbuds or headsets as I think each person will have their own preference and it doesn't really affect the overall quality of what the other person perceives. Wireless earbuds work, but if you want to use wired headsets, the Rode mic lets you connect to it directly, which is another nice touch. The Moft stand is the most portable riser I can think of and to me that beats carrying a separate laptop stand or riser around. Other items I'd like to include in this creator traveling kit is this base US charger. This is a GAN charger capable of delivering up to 65 watts of shared charging through two ports. The flat design lets you plug it in tight spaces and the two ports are much more accessible to you. And that's why I like it. It's small enough to fit even in your laptop sleeve. And speaking of laptop sleeve, I'm also including the hybrid work duo by OrbitKey. It's a laptop sleeve that also turns into a desk mat with an area for your mouse pad. The sleeve has openings on the side, which lets you charge your laptop even when it's in the case. The sleeve is very slim yet sturdy, offering good protection to your laptop against bumps and scratches. It's also made out of recycled materials and premium vegan leather that make it look and feel good to the touch. But I think more importantly, it gives you a better surface to work on, especially if you like using a mouse. I hope you enjoyed today's video and hopefully I've given you some ideas on what products to take with you on your next travel adventure. Now, I understand how busy creator life can be, but that doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice quality just because you're on the move. I'll see you guys again next time and safe travels.